Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about how to generate random numbers in C Sharp. It's very important concept for computer encryption, lotteries, scientific modeling and gambling applications. Here we will learn what are the ways we do have in C Sharp by which we can generate random numbers. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. How to generate random numbers in C sharp? There are two ways by which we can generate random numbers in C sharp. Number one, using random class. It's available in system name as well. Number two, using random number generator class. It's available in system.security.cryptography name as well. So random class is used to generate random numbers based on the seed value. By default, the random class uses the system clock to generate its seed value so that each instance of the random class can generate different random numbers. However, we can provide our own seed value based on our own requirement. Random is only pseudo random as the seed is easy to guess. Okay, let's understand it with the help of examples shown over here. Here, I have instantiated the random class. That's what I have written random obj random is equal to new random. Then what I am doing, I am just going to use its next month obj random dot next method so it will generate some random number that we are storing into the num variable of in data type right and finally what i am doing i am just printing into this console window by this statement console dot write line num and if you see this output output got generated like this four six eight one eight six nine double three okay so this is the random number got generated if you are going to execute this number again this code again maybe we will be getting some different number because this is the random number is going to get generated. Okay, let's understand the second example over here. Here what I have done, I have created an instance of this random class and that's what I have written a random obj random is equal to new random. Then what I am going to do, I am just going to use this next method. But in this next method, I am passing two input parameters. First parameter 1, second parameter is 30. So this obj random dot next method, it is just going to generate the number between 1 and 12. We need to keep in mind this first parameter is an inclusive, but second parameter we are just giving the range, right? So below that number, you are just need to consider that. So 1 and 13, if I am writing like this, then it is just going to generate the number between 1 and 12. Okay, it's very, very important. You need to keep in mind. Second thing is, I'm just going to pass only one parameter in the next method. Here, the number it is just going to get generated between 0 and 50. Here we are going to see the random class internal details that I have fetched from the system name. Right? If you see this structure of this random class, we have two constructors. One is the parameterless constructor and the second one is the parameterized constructor. And when we are writing parameterized constructor, it is just going to accept one input parameter that is the seed value. Right? And if you see this static auto implemented properties and then we have these many methods so these are the methods are there this is the auto implemented aesthetic properties and these two are the construct right so we can use these many methods we can use either parameterless constructor or parameterized constructor right so these are the internal details of this random class that is available into the system name as well so whenever we are going to play with this random class we have this option we can use it in our application here we are going to learn how to generate random numbers using random number generator we can also generate random number using system dot security cryptography dot random number it creates cryptographically a strong random values based on the os entropy you must be thinking what is os entropy is right here os entropy is nothing but the combination of sound mouse click keyboard timings and thermal temperature etc so based on that this cryptographically a strong random value is going to get derived so it is much secure right okay if you see this example shown over here what i have done i have added this name space because we are going to use this random number generator class and it is available into the system.security.cryptography so that's what i have added this name space with using right that's what I have written using system.security.cryptography. Then what I have done, I am just going to use create method of this random number generator. 
I have written random number generator dot create. So it will give us the instance of this random number generator that we are storing into this variable obj random number generator. Here I have created a byte array. So what I have written byte r number new byte four eight. Then what I am doing? I am just going to call this get bytes method. Here I am passing r number the par input parameter. So I have written obj random number dot get bytes r number right. So now this r number gets populated and then I am just passing this r number into this method. Which method? System dot bit converter dot two in thirty two r number right and then comma zero. So it is just going to give us the random number because random number already generated. And I stored into this R number as a byte, and then here I'm just converting into the in 32. And once we converted those things, we have stored this value into a random value variable of in data type. Finally, I'm printing into this console value. That's what I have written console dot right line random value. This number got printed. And then if you see the second example, I'm just going to generate one number between one and seven. So if this statement is just going to generate random number between one and six, that's what dice is having six option, right? So we are storing into this variable dice roll. Then I'm just printing into this console window. See this output to got print. Here I just want to show the internal details of this random generator. That's what I have just you know taking the screenshot from this namespace system dot security dot cryptography where we have this abstract class random generator. And that is implementing I disposable, right? And you remember whenever we are going to implement any interface, so in interface methods we need to implement it, and that's what this dispose method is there, right? Void dispose and dispose. So we have these two methods, and then we do have this method, create method, and this one also we having the create matter where we are passing this RNG name. Similarly, we have different types of methods. That we can use it from this random generator class for various purposes okay so this is the internal details of this random generator class and with the help of this random generator class we can generate the random number okay let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in in action here we are in visual studio here we are going to see how to generate random number in c so that's what i have done i have created one console application random number demo and it has programmed with cs file in program.cs file, we have this namespace random numbers demo. Inside that, we have one class named program that has main method, which is an entry point of this application. Here, what I am doing, I am just writing this statement that random number generation demo in C. -Sub. We are printing into this console window. Okay. Here, we are going to see two concepts how to generate random number using random class, how to generate random numbers using random gen number generator. If you see this random class here, what I have done, I have created an instance of this random. What I have written random obj random is equal to new random. And I'm just going to generate one random number in this next method. I have written obj random dot next. Whatever the number is going to get generated, I am storing into the num variable and then finally I am printing into this console. Right? And that's what I have written console dot write line now. It is just going to print this value into this console window. Then I am using this next method, but here I am passing two input parameters, one and third. So it is just going to give the random number between one and twelve. So one is inclusive, thirteen is not inclusive. Okay, it's very very important. So it is just going to generate between the number one and twelve. For the number, it is just going to get generated. I am storing into this month variable of int, and then if you see this statement line number 20 here what i have done i have written next method here i am passing only one input part so this will give the number between 0 and 50 52 is not included okay it's very very important you need to keep in mind this. so the random number will generate it between 0 and 51 whatever the number got generated from this statement we are just going to Stored into this card variable of in data. Finally, I'm printing month and card into this console. We will see the output once we execute this program. Okay, now let's move to the concept number two. 
where we are going to generate the random number using this random number generator class. Here what I have done, I have used this create method for getting an instance of this random number generator. That's what we are storing into this variable obj random number generator and then here I have defined one byte array. What is the type? What is the length for this array? We have given this port, right? And now what I am doing, I am just going to call it get bytes method. And passing this byte array inside as the input parameter. So it will just generate the random number and then store into this byte array. Finally, what I am doing, I am just going to convert this byte to in 32. And finally, I am storing into this random value variable of in data type and then printing into this console bit. So I have written console dot right line random value. Okay, and finally, if you see this statement line number 33, where I have written that dice roll is equal to random number generator dot get in 32 one step. So this statement is just going to generate this random number between one and seven. So one is inclusive, seven is not inclusive. So it is just going to give the value between one and six. That value we are storing into this dice roll variable. Okay. And then finally, I am printing into this console window, dice roll. Okay, so now what I am doing, I am just going to execute this program and see the output. Okay, so output got generated and printed into this console window, right? If you see, this statement got printed, random number generation demo in C sharp. And this number, right? This number got printed, what we have generated using this obj random.net. So this number got generated 16587060028, right? And if you see this number, I have written this statement, right? OBJ random dot next between one and thirteen, right? So I have printed this int variable month with this console dot right line statement. It gave me nine. This nine number got generated, and here also OBJ random dot next fifty two. Here also the ninth number generated as a random number, and that we have stored into the card variable of int data type and printing. So nine nine got printed. Now, if you see the random number generated using this random number generator class, I got minus 1, 2, 5, 7, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 0, right? So this statement random value, it just got printed. And if you see this dice roll, what the value got generated? 3. So I have given instruction that I need to get the value between 1 and 7. So this random number generator class using this get in 30, we got it. 3 value that we are printing into this console. So that's the way how to generate random numbers in C sharp, right? Now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we learned how to generate random number in C sharp by using random class and with random number generator class. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.